It's crazy that PlayStation fanboys have the audacity to play the victim. They're playing the victim because Xbox fanboys on Twitter absolutely destroying Spider-Man 2 because of his bugs. So, PlayStation fanboys are crying, saying it's not fair. How dare you guys make fun of Spider-Man 2 bugs and glitches. This game is a 91 Metacritic, plus it's a PlayStation first party game. You can't make fun of PlayStation games. That's these guys' attitude right now. These people went on the absolute hate campaign for Starfield for months. After the Starfield Direct in June of 2023, these guys constantly made videos, constantly made fun of Starfield. Then when the game released, these guys did their videos making fun of Starfield, saying, look, look at these invisible walls. Look at this guy, look at this, look at... So now, because Xbox guys are giving those guys the same energy back, they're playing the victim. It's not fair. I hate you guys. All because it's a PlayStation first party game because it's Spider-Man. <laughs> Look, this guy named Nib. Don't know him from Adam, but apparently he's a PlayStation fanboy. I've seen some of his tweets occasionally sprinkled. Um, on my timeline here and there and he's definitely a big-time PlayStation fanboy But here look at this these guys write these novels on Twitter These PlayStation fanboys crying is going to another level They write these long-ass novels Crying and now check out what this guy is saying I'm not gonna read all of this shit, but just a couple of points. I want to talk about at this point, based on the actual numbers, it's pretty clear some of the big Xbox fan accounts on Twitter are orders of magnitude more toxic in their volume of console war negativity over other platforms. Their volume. Do you hear this shit? Let me continue. Whilst at work, I figured I'd do some analysis on the numbers. Since opinions, perception is one thing, hard data, numbers another. In terms of three PlayStation-centric accounts to compare that are repeatedly brought up by Xbox fans or have the most comparable day one negativity. Then, look, check this out, guys. Look what this guy does. He says, most negative Starfield <laughs> timeline tweets in a single day. Look at the people this guy brings up. Red Dragon, King Thrash, and J-Dub. Oh, my God. This guy is trying to say that these three ponies... The three biggest ponies in the community. They only brought up Red Dragon, only brought up Starfield seven times. King Thrash only brought up Starfield four times. J Dub only brought up Starfield three times. Are you kidding me? What is this metric, sir? King Thrash literally had three straight weeks of bashing Starfield videos on his channel. And you want to say this dude only brought up Starfield four times? This dude made up some shit about UFOs just to talk shit about Starfield. And the, the fact that UFOs are starting to be shown by the government is scary to them. That's why they don't want to talk about it. It's not just religion. It literally destroys everything that we thought we knew about how the universe works. That's why none of y'all want to step in the room with me because I would decimate you. Red Dragon. This guy hates Xbox. All he does is do anti-Xbox tweets and you're saying he's innocent in this? J-Dub, come on, man. You can't be serious, Nib. <laughs> J-Dub, of all people. These three ponies, you are saying they're innocent in this. They Their volume wasn't as bad as J-Rock or Peter Ovio or the Black Viking, right? I'm glad J-Rock roasted these damn ponies. I'm glad Peter Ovio roasted these ponies and the Black Viking. I love it because y'all deserve it. How you gonna dish it out for years? For years. And all of a sudden, when Xbox guys are fighting back and Xbox gave these guys some ammo, y'all wanna go ahead and play the victim. It's not fair, no, no, don't do this. It's not fair. Fuck y'all and fuck Spider-Man. Something I just happened to run into after I did the audio portion of this video. Look at good old Nib. 
He says, much as I'm enjoying Starfield, nobody tell me it's really polished bug free. Face pretty much as many bugs as any bug that's the title. Let me repeat, as any bug that's the title. Locked out of missions, doors, hard crashes, camera glitches, fast travel errors, clipping, etc. Here's a sample, all my own clips. Look at this shit. So he can talk about glitches and bug Vesta games, as he say, for Starfield. But because Xbox guys is talking crazy stuff on Twitter about Spider-Man, he wants to do some type of metric where he compares PlayStation fanboys talking trash about Starfield to Xbox guys talking trash about Spider-Man 2 while at work, might I add. So he's getting paid to do these dumbass metric tests on Twitter. This is the hypocrisy I'm talking about. His, his defense is, well, they did it way more than us PlayStation guys. I don't want to hear that shit. Oh man, I just can't believe these PlayStation guys have the audacity to do this. Now, as far as the bugs goes with Spider-Man, I don't like to talk about glitches and bugs in video games because in my opinion, every game has them. Every game has them. But I will say, with some of the bugs we've seen in Spider-Man, we've seen a lot of bugs. We've seen streamers. We've seen streamers live streaming Spider-Man 2 and run into a bug. Miles, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. Uh, I mean, I have been. All right, let's do it. Ultra slow motion, that wasn't even me. What's going on? <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> Why am I moving so slow? Hello? Okay, this is that. Unless, of course, you get away with it, then it absolutely. all over social media right now so how can a game like this with all of these bugs still get a 91 there are some games that's affected by bugs as far as the scores go and some games that bugs don't matter they still give the game a high score tell me explain this shit to me explain it not only this now we're hearing that some physical copies are not working it won't install the shit won't work why is nobody talking about this but y'all want to be mad because xbox guys are <laughs> talking shit to you all of these years playstation guys repeatedly bash every single xbox game they bash starfield they bash forza motorsport Trust me, Hellblade 2 will most likely be the next AAA Xbox game to release. They're going to bash that. No matter what, but y'all want to play the victim. Y'all want to sit up here and say Xbox guys are so wrong. Xbox guys, what are you doing? No, I don't want to hear that shit. Y'all, I don't want to hear it. It's cool when they do it, but it's a problem when I do it. Fuck them. Listen, man, then there's guys that claim to be Xbox guys. Then they go ahead out there and say, Kaiser Wars are stupid. This is stupid. That is stupid. <laughs> man, I'm just really at the point where I just get frustrated with this. Console Wars are supposed to be fun, right? People hate it. Some people like it. Some people enjoy it being in the console war but when it comes to these fake ass flip-flopping cowards looking for praise from playstation fanboys get the hell out of here 
Get out of here. I don't like it. <laughs> well, I don't like it at all. So, look, I just hate that PlayStation fanboys think they can play the victim. Now, no, no, we're not going to allow it. We're not going to allow it. You guys deserve this. Remember the ABK acquisition? Of course you guys remember. Remember how guys like the Red Dragon every single day tweeting to Lena Khan, tweeting to the FTC, tweeting to the CMA, the EU, every day trying to find ways to block the deal or get them to block the deal. Look, Redfall was supposed to be on PS5. Oh, no, no, no. Redfall, remember that? Those guys had a field day with Redfall, didn't they? They talked about Redfall for weeks. But no, they want to play the victim because Xbox guy is talking shit about Spider-Man 2. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I hate you guys with everything that's in me. I need you to know that because you all entitled pieces of trash, including you, Nib. How dare this guy named J-Dub, Red Dragon, and King Thrash and say, they didn't talk about Starfield that much? You gotta be kidding me. Look, it's time for me to go because uh, I'm getting annoyed. I'm getting annoyed with the hypocrisy. I'm getting annoyed with these guys just being pieces of shit. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Look, y'all, if y'all like this video, please hit the like button. If you happen to stumble across my channel, you think I'm decent enough, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? And if you subscribe, please hit that notification bell to know when my black ass is doing some new content, baby. All right, everybody. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> Shit. Damn, man. <laughs>